Yes, sir. Ho, baby. Hope you're doing well. Today is uh, Tuesday, September 6th, 2022. We finally got our first week of Team of the Week. Um, I'm not going to be opening those packs, but I'm going to open some other packs on here. We do have an LTD. We're going to look at the Team of the Week set. I'm going to tell you all as well to make sure you sign up to get the free Jalen Waddle as well. Now, if you like this video, make sure you like the video. Comment down below as well if you like this drop of uh, Team of the Week players. This is a one you shouldn't go crazy for. The players aren't really that great. So save your coins. Don't open the packs personally. And don't forget to sub. It's free for you. It doesn't cost you a thing. There is our love goal is 10,000 subs by the end of the year if you haven't hit the sub button already definitely appreciate it thank you so much now as you can see Jalen waddle is going to be starting effective the 7th and the 9th so as you can see your mcs drop packs you get one mcs token which you can add to build Jalen waddle which we then add to build other players which will happen in the future you also get a player item from latest but program and four additional player items you can also earn twitch packs as well so keep that in mind i'm on my twitter if you don't follow me on twitter you should at the real 13 you can go in here it will show you exactly where to go to how to link up your uh, twitch account to your ea account to make Make sure you get those rewards and then from here you would just link your ea account and blah 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 just follow these steps from there get it all linked up because then when it drops you can just go and put on the shit on the mcs you don't even have to sit there and actually watch if you don't want to just leave it on the background just so you can get your twitch packs your tokens your Jalen waddle on your way now you guys have probably seen this on uh, wednesday because i'm recording this on my lunch um so you guys i'm not gonna have time to put it out tonight i'll put it out on wednesday so this will be your guys's wednesday video and then thursday we'll probably go ahead and do another campus hero hunters for you guys i hope you guys are enjoying that series because it's very sad but here are the team of the week sets right as you can see we have Cavante turup uh, turnup turup who whoever a turnup whoever that guy's name is we also have ty mckill we have a couple 87s in here so if you do your solo challenges when we get there we'll talk about that uh, you can put these in here now in order to make an 87 looks like 883s is required to make any type of 87s and to make the 90 overalls if you wanted to make those it will require four 87s and six 83s we also have a team of the week uh fantasy pack which looks like you just need some gold players so i guess i could do this if i really wanted to again i'm saving all my gold players for team diamonds and saving that and saying that and saying that i'm gonna stick with my guns on this i could cash out right now and just and just get those coins but no i'm i'm hanging on to it because i'm hoping these gold cards go for quite a bit right all right and as you can see here they are going for pretty expensive right now uh the 90 overall is going for 380k and then we also have the other one going for about 360 so they're going for about the same price he has 88 speed 87 jump 89 catch 86 to catch in traffic with the 90 short 87 medium and 86 Six deep route running pretty good i suppose it's not terrible uh cowboys theme team is the one he's going to be getting he is five nine as well again these aren't really crazy people that you want i'm personally not going to be opening team of the week packs this week i think you shouldn't either because one they're very expensive and two they're just not really great cards to even do this for uh dt this card is good in some aspects but some other a vikings theme team tied mcgill they have 74 speed which is a bad part obviously 78 excel with 88 strength 90 tackle 87 player 91 block 90 power the rest of the stats are very good My minus a finesse so if you can get past his speed this card is very good he's a power rusher archetype too we love power rushers in this game uh he's not going for too much going for about half a million coins um he's pretty short i think he's 5'9 yeah 5'9 he's 88 speed 89 excel 89 agility 86 jump 87 player 90 man 84 zone and 87 press he's a man to man corner He's LTD, quick sells for about 350, I believe, if you pull him. And a buddy's 5'9. So I don't know if you guys are gonna take him or not. I'm personally not gonna take him, but if I pull him, I will take the coins, honestly. And then we have the team of the week player. So make sure you come in here and do this. I don't think you get any type of tokens this time around. So typically in the past, you would get some type of tokens that you can put into a team of the week set. You get like a full legend team of the week player at the very end of it, I should say. But it doesn't look like they do it, right? So when you finish this up, once you get to eight stars, you get an 83 overall preseason standout fantasy pack. And then once you get to 16 stars, you can get a team of the week 87 overall uh, player fantasy pack so you can choose one of the 87 so that's pretty dope I, I would recommend doing this and then hopefully as weeks go on for team of the week they start adding in tokens to actually uh for us collect for team of the year one and uh and to hopefully get like a full team of the week player at the very end of it we got about 1.1 million coins i'm gonna rip some packs i'm not gonna rip these team of the week packs man 60k is very very expensive the minimum you'll get is an 83 so i guess that's what like 15k but the way new packs have been treating in this game has been awful so i'm not gonna risk it if i hit just an 80 i'm losing like 40k a pop uh, but what i am gonna do because i've been seeing this pack go around crazy on twitter is a star fantasy pack probably gonna do about half a million coins into here since we have an ltd so i'll bring it down to half a mil but i've seen these packs go absolutely crazy for people so we're gonna rip these and hopefully they're they're pretty good for us as we get an 80 sam hubbard i think you get one pick in the first round and three picks in the second round um and i've seen some people pull some second round cheese which is probably stupid rare and if there's an ltd in pack your boy's gonna go for it now i'm not going to try and do it out of a team of the week pack because those packs suck i will do it out of the 
these, right? 78. Hopefully we can get some elites in the second round. That's where you're going to make most of your coins back. 72, 72. Now I did drop a video on Monday for Millie Monday for game day packs. And so far to me personally, those uh, were, are the best packs in the game so far. I'll have a final idea once I'm done with this. And um, whew, I thought it was going to be a Justin Jefferson every time. And if they're good, then I honestly might do this for Million Monday before they get taken out. I think I might do it uh, if I pull heat. But so far, I mean, it looks like they're not that good. And with Campus Hero Hunters and all the pack openings I've been doing, man, I was at like 3 million coins. I'm not trying to spend too much money on this game anymore, but your boy's down bad. I've lost millions of coins doing just Campus Hero Hunters and everything. Oh, 85 Mark of Parsons. Okay. I don't know how much 85s go for. I think the market's going to go down. They go for like 35k. So we already made a little bit of profit on this one. And I'll hang on to all the gold cards as well. Again, for Team Diamonds, if they ever come, they better. If they don't, I'm going to be so upset because I could have cashed out multiple times. 77 Elite. Brandon Cooks will take that. He doesn't get any type of power up. So there's no point of getting his lower cards. 70, 70, 77. Take him, him, and we'll take 72. Now I will bring out hot hands right away. I have yet to pull an LTD out of a normal pack. I've only done it at a reroll. So hopefully today is a day. The hot hands are going to do for three times in a row. No way, right? No way. No way. Okay, 83 Bettis is cool with me. I thought for sure it was going to be a, a power up. It is Tuesday too, so I'll probably go ahead and sell those right away um, and try to get as much coins as possible. But so far, I think we're probably down just a little bit. Now, people are comparing it to Pro Fantasy Packs, which don't do not do that. Don't disrespect Pro Fantasy Packs. Pro Fantasy Packs for 14,000 coins and they hit like crazy. But these ones seem like they're hitting all right, right? You just need to get a little bit lucky. And at 71, 73, 75 again. Take this one, this one, and we will take, take the bangles. Oh, give me some first round cheese already. 78, 79, we'll take him. He's a Raider too, so maybe I'll have a little bit more value. I'm taking all the Raiders cards right now. 78, 71, so we'll take him, him, and we're gonna take this Raider card uh, because again, Raiders are very, very expensive because everyone and their mama is uh, running a Raiders themed team, which I don't blame them because they have some crazy good cards. Moss, Warren, Snap, it's just, they're all over the place, right? Come on, man. Oh my God. God, dude. I mean, I already have them for hunters, but we'll take an 87 out of the first round. I did not expect to pull an 87. I thought it was going to be another 80, but we'll take that. So we'll take him, him, and him. The 87s are about 100K. So low key. I mean, if these are going to be paying out, your boy's going to try to do them for Million Monday real quick. Uh, another elite in the first round. Reggie Gilliam. Cool. We'll take him. That's like 6,000, 7,000 coins. Ooh, Waddle. All right. Now, when I do pull an elite in the second round, I do get pretty excited because it seems like it's pretty rare, man. Elite. DJ will take him. Oh, I should have actually took the Raider. I bet you would have had more money. 70, 71, 73, 75. We'll take him, him, and we'll take the 71. Why not? 70, 74, 77. Elite. Jamel Dean. We'll take him, him, and we'll take, take the Charger. Uh, 77 on that one, and 77. We'll take the 49er, and then this one's probably going to not be good. Yeah, a bunch of 71. We're about halfway through right now. Uh, Pretty good highest pulls in 87, so we're probably down just a little bit. What we need is a couple decent pulls back end of it and we'll be all right i've yet to make profit impacts dude they're so hard 83 cursed cousins he's an 83 that's actually wild an 82 caleb farley we'll take the 83 i'm assuming he's gonna have more value Ooh, another elite 77 we'll hang on to him i don't know if those cards are gonna have value when it comes to team diamonds i'm trying to remember in like past team diamonds if you needed to put like promo cards in the sets and i don't think you did i think it's strictly just all the gold cards and jefferson jk scott will take him because he's a punter 79 jerome baker 70 76 james washington i mean for round number two that wasn't that bad especially with all of these high golds that can range from like three thousand a piece so you gotta think i mean that's probably fourteen thousand coins right there i do enjoy fantasy packs i feel like fantasy packs are honestly the best thing to do in here so we're gonna get a quitty pain um and these seem to be okay i'm not getting like back okay dude this one's a power up this one's a power up yeah that one's a power up 80 chris McAllister. i just had that feeling we'll take him him and him the 80 still goes for about 5k so it's still a dub so with this pack again this is probably 10,000. Um, I, i'm losing i'm probably down like 100k right now but i'm really only one pull away from from breaking even all right oh my god if that was jalen ramsey again dude anytime i see the ram i immediately go jalen ramsey 83 though we'll take him 70 74 mm, 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 mm. surprisingly no team of the week cards which i'm kind of hurt by i thought we at least pull one team of the week card. Again, this isn't an LTD I, I want to chase after either. He's not really that great. 
Juan Thornhill, we'll take him. I mean, half a mil is still really good. Don't get me wrong. I'll take it. Adoree Jackson. Once we start getting to like week one and up-to-date players, that's when things are going to start getting real nice. That's when you're going to start hunting for LTDs because some cards are going to be crazy. All right, man, we're back in bangers. We could probably do it, I don't know, five more times. And we're all done. Uh, highest pulls in 87, which is very similar to the uh, game day fantasy pack that we did. These are about 1,500 coins cheaper, but everybody loves uh, fantasy packs, right? 79, number two is typically nothing. Yeah, we'll take him, him. And then I'm also going to take the bangle. Again, I want to take the, the teams that I think are going to have the best players when it comes to Team Diamonds, and as well as what uh, teams people are going to actually be running for Team Diamonds, right? Uh, can we get a little walk-off? Give me like an 85 plus, as we're going to get 77 and 77. We're going to take the punter. Um, Nothing around number two, right? Yeah, nothing here. We'll take the Falcons, Bengals, and I will take the, I guess the Falcons again. Why not? Come on, man. Show me the elite. Yeah, these things just suck now. Justin Jefferson. Oh my God, these things just suck. Round number two, 70, 72, 77, 76. We'll take these three. 78, Javante Williams and Tim Patrick. A couple Broncos here. Uh, these last few pucks of, uh, packs have not been that good. 82 there. No elites or one elite in the second round. Anything else? Uh, Broncos and we'll take the 82. Um, we're probably going to lose. I mean, we pulled the 87 and ever since we pulled the 87, it kind of just went downhill, right? Um, again, don't rip the team of the week packs. It's not worth it. 60K is crazy for only being able to pull potentially uh, in, in 83 and losing like 40K automatically. But if you do, good luck to you, man. If you want to rip packs, I'd recommend doing, doing these packs. I feel like they're pretty decent. Again, we're going to try it. I might rip these for a million Monday depending how long they're in packs for if they are in store by the time the weekend rolls around you might just have to do it if you like the video make sure you like the video do not forget to sub on the way out stay with silly guys tell your mom and tell your daddy catch you guys on the next video